What's up guys? Wired Zero here. In this video, I'll be doing an update to a video I did about a year ago titled, How to Set Up Your Own Personal Cloud from Start to Finish. This tutorial will guide you through setting up the latest version of OwnCloud in Ubuntu Server 16.04.4. The prerequisites are a host operating system, such as Mac OS, Linux, or Windows, VirtualBox, Terminal if you're on Mac or Linux, and PuTTY if you're using Windows, and Ubuntu Server. Links to the tutorial videos on getting Ubuntu Server installed in VirtualBox will be included in the description below. So with that said, let's go ahead and fire up the terminal, or PuTTY if you're on Windows, and SSH into Ubuntu Server. All right, now that we've successfully SSH'd into our Ubuntu Server, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in sudo space su and then type in your password. All right, I'm gonna type in clear. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy uh, this line that we have in the description below. That's gonna install all the modules we need to go along with OwnCloud in our Ubuntu uh, install here. So just go ahead and I believe this is gonna be probably number two in the description below. All right, I'll make sure it's number two. So go ahead and um, paste that in and then hit enter. And we are gonna go ahead and let that run through. And this is gonna give us everything pretty much we need to install OwnCloud. All right, now that that's finished, we're gonna go ahead and restart Apache. Now Apache is the web server that we have running on our Ubuntu server. So to do this, we're just gonna simply type in service Apache to space restart. All right, now what we're gonna do, again, if you follow the instructions below, I'll try to match this up as closely as possible. We're gonna add the own cloud repository. So go ahead and copy and paste this line in, which I'll have in the description. And we're good to go there. And now we're basically gonna update our repository list within our sources list in Ubuntu. So just go ahead and type in apt get update again. And we're pretty much gonna be good to go here. All right, we're ready to install OwnCloud at this point. So all we gotta do now is type in apt get install own cloud dash files and we're installing own cloud and yes we're going to go ahead and install these packages All right, now it's time to create our database for our own cloud install. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is type in my SQL space dash U space root space dash P. And remember that password that we created when we were doing our Ubuntu install in VirtualBox, uh, whether it was in Mac OS or Windows? Well, that password, we're gonna need to recall it here. So go ahead and type that in. All right, now that we're at our MySQL prompt, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a database. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna create a database called OwnCloud. So go ahead and type in create database space, and we're gonna call this database OwnCloud, followed by a semicolon. All right, now that we have our database created, we're gonna create a user. So go ahead and type in create user space single quote, Okay, then we're going to call this user own cloud, all lowercase, own cloud. All right, uh, single quote at local no at local host, and then we're going to give it a password identified by, and for the case of this video we're going to do password as the password 
followed by a semicolon. So we're basically creating a user uh, with the username owncloud and we're identifying it with the password of password. So go ahead and enter. All right, now we have a user. Now, what we need to do with this user is grant all access to the database for this user. So we're gonna go ahead and type in grant all on own cloud, the username dot asterisk, all right, to single quote own cloud at local, uh, we need another at local host semicolon. All right. Now we should be pretty much good to go with our username and our database with permissions. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to flush all privileges. Flush. All right. We are good to go. Now all we have to do at this point is type in exit. And now we're good to go. Let's move on. Now what we're gonna do is change the Apache, which is the web server element of the Ubuntu server, the configuration file. So when we pull up the IP address of this web server, we get the own cloud default page. So in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in nano, which is gonna be our editor to allow us to change this configuration file and save it. So we're gonna type in nano space forward slash Etsy forward slash Apache 2 forward slash sites forward slash available forward slash 000 dash default dot config or CONF and then go ahead and enter. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna down arrow down to document root and we're gonna take out HTML and we're gonna put in own cloud because that's where own cloud was installed to. So now we can hold down control and hit O and hit enter to save changes. Okay. And then control X and we're, we're saved. We're, we're out. Now what we're going to do is just going to restart Apache. So we can type in service space Apache to space restart. And now we're pretty much good to go. Now we can go to our host operating system and we can pull up a browser and we can go to our IP address of our Ubuntu server and continue the configuration or the initial setup of own cloud. All right, before we move on, I just wanna make sure you know what IP address you're going to. So while we're still in the terminal here, let's go ahead and type in if config, all right? And will locate our IP address of the Ubuntu server. So in my case, it's 10.0.0.142. So this is the number we're gonna type in in our browser in our host operating system. So with that said, let's head over there. All right, now what you wanna do is type in the IP address that we just had in our terminal and then hit enter. So in my case, it was 10.0.0.142, all right? And you will be presented with this page. All right, this is the initial install of OwnCloud X, okay? So we're gonna create a username. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and select admin and type in a password. Okay, now we're gonna create a database user. And remember, during the uh, setup, we created OwnCloud, okay? And the password. In my case, I entered in password. Database name, I created own cloud. And we can leave it at localhost. Okay. That should be everything we need. So if you follow this tutorial from start to finish and we hit finish setup, everything should be golden, good to go. We're good to go. So let's go ahead and log in, people. Congratulations. All right, so our username was admin. And the passwords are created.
there you have it. Own cloud from start to finish. Easy to follow, fairly quick. Everyone have a good night. Wired Zero out. <laughs>